All right, so it's time to do a speed test between ChatGPT and the new ChatGPT Plus. One of the selling points of ChatGPT Plus is that it provides a faster response speed. So in this video, I'm going to be putting that to the test and comparing side by side ChatGPT versus ChatGPT Plus. And for these prompts, I'm going to use the examples that they provide and try and hit send as close to the same time as possible. And I will click send on ChatGPT first, followed by ChatGPT Plus. I'll just work through all three of these and we'll see what comes out in the end and declare a winner and a loser. First example, explain quantum computing in simple terms. Let's go. All right, so we have a winner here is ChatGPT Plus won the first race with quantum computing and it takes a while for the prompt summation or title to appear here in the menu. And these are two different browsers logged into two different accounts, by the way. All right, so next attempt, doing a new chat here in both browsers. And once again, ChatGPT Plus on the right, non plus on the left. Second prompt is got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday party. And if you've been on ChatGPT for any time at all, you're familiar with these examples. Let's go. And ChatGPT is out ahead, but let's see if Plus can lap the field and finish first. This one's a lot closer. And Plus has won yet again. This time is a lot closer. And it may be interesting as well for you to check out the suggestions on both sides. ChatGPT Plus is being a little more verbose and creative, it looks like, with such ideas as a virtual party with video conferencing platform and as well a mention of geocaching, whereas the non-plus side is a little more basic in nature. So let's do one more new chat on both sides for the third and final speed test. And for this one, the prompt is, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? Let's go once again. And once again, nonplus started out of the gate first, partially because I'm clicking send first, but it looks like plus has taken the lead and has finished and has the prompt title at the top. And nonplus is still working on the new chat. So you can tell once it's done, whenever, especially the summation or the title of the prompt, the subject of the prompt appears at the top. And with code, I've really noticed nonplus is a lot slower. And interestingly, the nonplus side was more verbose with this answer. And so that would, could be one reason why it took longer is because it provided more information. The plus side, ChatGPT Plus, gave a more concise answer, just giving a, an example piece of code here. And these appear to be the same left to right. And as a reminder, these are two different accounts that I'm logged into. This gives a numbered list with more details as well. And there's some other slight variations between the two here, but then on the non-plus side, it's saying as well to use a library such as Axios or jQuery and gives you an example of Axios code before it finishes up. So definitely an interesting experiment from the speed perspective. ChatGPT Plus definitely wins. And so I would say faster response speed is definitely a plus on the plus side compared to regular and free chat GPT. As far as available, even when demand is high, I've not had any issues with chat GPT plus being down and don't know what access to new features I'm enjoying currently, but I've, I'm sure they will send me a nice email or release note if and when they do roll out new features. So if you're needing fast responses and availability, consider ChatGPT Plus and let me know down in the comments what you think about this speed test and ChatGPT Plus.